Hi everyone, it's Melissa from Welcome to the Woods. In this video, I'm going to share with you a project that my sister Christy did repurposing old oak trim into a beautiful modern slat bench. She had this project in mind for her mid-century modern home for a long time, and so I'm excited to share how she did it. The first thing was for her to strip the varnish off of these old oak boards. Now, she used City Strip, and this is a stripper that uh, definitely works quickly, but because it has very strong odors and chemicals, you need to do it in a well-ventilated area. So you can see that she's outside. Apply it thickly with a brush, and after it's set for a short time, you can scrape off the varnish. Once the stripper had done its work, it was time to come in with a belt sander. And the belt sander, it's so important to go in the direction of the grain. Unlike an orbital sander, belt sanders can show marks after sanding. So you want to pay attention to the lines in the wood, and that's the grain, and sand in that same direction. So for these boards, that's the length. Now that the oak boards are sanded, they are ready to be trimmed down into slats. So Christy ran them through her table saw and the inner slat boards were cut to an inch and a half wide and then the outer frame boards were two and a quarter inches. You can kind of see the layout here in this clip. Now it was time to cut each of the slats to length and using a miter saw, Christy cut each of them to about 46 inches long and the bench she's creating is going to have like a picture frame of slats around it so it's Final measurements are going to be 14 and an eighth inch deep, 47 and a quarter inch long. She had these really specific measurements because it's going in a very special spot in her entryway of her home to kind of disguise like a heat register that's along the floor and just give some extra seating for people as they enter her home. She also cut three pieces of wood to fit inside the width of the frame. That would be the supports on the underside of the bench. For the outer frame boards, which were cut to two and a quarter inches, you know, wide, those ones she's going to bevel the ends so that they meet at a 45 degree angle. This is going to look kind of like a picture frame and trim out the bench very nicely. When all the pieces were cut, it was finally time for finish work, but before she applied the finish, she decided to fill in all the imperfections, any little hole, and then come at it with a palm sander, first with an 80 grit and then at 150 grit sandpaper to get everything really smooth. It's so important to sand everything down before you're going to stain so that the stain is accepted by the wood. It's also really crucial in a project like this that you stain before assembling the piece because it would be nearly impossible with this design, this slat design, to prevent drips of the stain in between the slats. So it was very smart for Christy to go and take every piece and stain it ahead of time. Now the stain that she's using is the Verithane Red Mahogany Wood Stain. And then she's gonna do two coats of Minwax Water-Based Polycrylic to seal it. To begin assembly, she used a corner clamp and wood glue to join the four mitered corners of the outer frame, that picture frame look. So this is going to help them stay aligned while she screws everything together from the back. Next, the three bottom support pieces got pocket holes drilled in them that would be used in the next steps to secure everything to the outer frame. Then working with the frame face down, she arranged all the slots inside with the best side facing down. And she put the spacers that she cut from the scrap wood of the same thickness between the slats on both ends. So the three support pieces on top of the slats, clamped in both directions, got pre-drilled and screwed to the support pieces on the frame. Oak is a hard wood and so it's very difficult to use screws with construction on oak unless you pre-drill. I think that this design is ingenious because all of the holes and all of the hardware is completely hidden. She also pre-drilled down through the support boards into each of the slats, so 10 holes on each of the three boards. She did this 30 times. She used a countersink drill bit on each of these holes so the screw head would be flush with the board. So these little finishing touches, I think, are what make this bench so special. Then she used construction screws to screw all the slats into place. Then all that was left was to add the legs. So the legs that she has are typical hairpin type legs. And she told me that she got it off of like a cheap Craigslist piece secondhand. 
um, a long time ago just because she wanted the legs and she knew she would take them off and then reuse them on this bench. But if you wanted to buy legs like this, they're very cheap. You can get them on Amazon or Etsy or anywhere. So holding each leg in place, she marked each of the three holes. Then she had to glue a small piece of wood as a spacer under one of the holes of each leg because it extended beyond the width of her support board. After pre-drilling and screwing the legs into place, the bench was officially done. You can see in this clip when Christy sets her bench in the spot that she built it for how perfectly it fits, not only the style of her home, but it makes this entryway so much more functional than it was before. I love that in this project, Christy used a hard wood. She repurposed everything from the oak boards to the hairpin legs, and she paid such attention to detail. The design of it is beautiful. It's just a really nice piece of furniture I think she will always enjoy. So if you loved this build, then let Christy know in the comments. I will share all the comments with her. I would love it if y'all could impress her with your support. So thank you for watching. We'll be back again next week with another video on Welcome to the Woods.